This is JBLE TV, your place for news on the installation, for service members, and our community. Newport News firefighters are visiting Fort Eustis and Hampton Roads to commemorate those lost on September 11th. These volunteers of the Remembrance Rescue Project display rescue companies 3, 4, and 5, the trucks that responded to the attacks on the World Trade Center. For me, it's a way to just to keep their story alive. You know, the names on the door, if we're not out there traveling, then a lot of people aren't going to remember the names on the door of, you know, eight firefighters that were killed or all the firefighters. It's kind of become just a sticker on the back of cars and trucks. This is a way to kind of get out there and reconnect and remind people of like, hey, this, these are real people. These are real faces and people that their sacrifice shouldn't be forgotten just because it's been 10 years. Many service members welcome and acknowledge the project because they have a fond memory of the attack and their time of service. My wife and I were, were dual military. Both of us were in the Pentagon on 9-11. At that time, uh, Marie and I, we were not married yet. Um, we didn't know if each other was alive. And I think that was the, the, t the toughest thing for us at that point. So uh, there is some special meaning, and that's one of the reasons why we chose to stop today in order to see this, is not only to see what had happened with uh, you know, the rescue teams up in New York City, but more importantly, to come by and shake their hands and say thank you for what they did. The Rescue 4 fire truck will be in the Newport News area until September 8th. Then it will continue its tour to different bases on the East Coast. Senior Airman Jordan Garner, Fort Eustis, Virginia.